Uh, well, yeah. Sports. All right. Yay. Calvin Megatron Johnson, uh, wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. Megatron. Was, yeah, Megatron. What? I don't know if he transforms into a giant gun. Maybe it's maybe he just runs really. Maybe that's the metaphor. At any rate. Uh, this guy's career is over because he is going to be on the cover of Madden this year. Uh, which pretty much means that he is going to injure himself and be out all next season. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the Madden curse. So, uh, ooh, thank you, Wesley, for saying I did a nice preview. We love you. That has you. nothing to do with this story, but yeah. <laughs> uh, fans put it to a vote. Actually, close to 20 million people voted, uh... In this campaign, uh, this year they did it by brackets. So there were like something like 64 potential football players that could have been on the cover. They dwindled it down to two. And of those two, Mr. Johnson was the lucky or unlucky one to uh, receive the honor of being on the cover of Madden. So you, you don't care about football. Well, it sucks for Detroit because uh, they have not been a good team for a while and they were kind of making a comeback. So. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Looks like your wide receiver is going to be out that next guy. Season. That guy is uh, due for an injury. Uh, Ew, I can't actually his recall. arms look like they're going to explode. Yeah, that's nasty. I don't know. Honestly, I kind of think they should go back to the days where Madden was on the cover. Of course, like the the the, the day that comes out, the day like a Madden game with Madden on the cover comes out, he's, he's going to die. die. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, the Madden <laughs> curse, but that might end the curse, right? Maybe. John Madden's oh, really? not dead. Isn't he? John, no. what the hell is wrong with you I don't think he's dead. People? I don't think he no. is. Uh, no. Let's just say. You, you, obviously everybody here a big sports fan. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone working on this video game show knows so much about football yeah. that they think John Madden's been dead for eight years. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think he's dead. No, John Madden's not dead. Al Davis passed away last year. Maybe you're thinking of Al Davis. You know, because we're in Oakland, the local football team. Tupac's not dead. He's now been converted into the... He's pure midichlorians now. No, <laughs> do not put sense. Tupac with Star Wars. What? No. No, okay. No. no, Tupac never died, all right? Tupac moved to Wyoming, and he lived there with, like, all the other famous dead people. Like Elvis. And, yeah. Elvis is, like, he, he owns the little... The little okay. cult that all, right. all the famous dead people are at. We're going we're gonna to get a little sidetracked here with this Tupac hologram thing, but really quickly, here's all I want to say. Like, a rapper that's been dead for, like, over, over a decade, and, but has been consistently releasing new material, all of a sudden shows up as a hologram at, like, one of the biggest music festivals in the world, and everybody's just going to be like, oh, that was totally a hologram. <laughs> 